Hi there. Uh, let's talk about Craigslist. Buying stuff on Craigslist is great, right? Um, selling stuff on Craigslist. A lot of times I'll sell some things on Craigslist um, that I, uh, you know, it's yard sales are kind of a pain and you have specific items that, you know, still have some value, but you don't want them anymore. So you sell them on Craigslist and then you can find some really great deals on Craigslist. Um, I bought a boat on Craigslist uh, and I've since become, you know, a boating guy. So now at the end of the season, um, I, what I'll do is sometimes I'll just for fun, I'll go onto a Craigslist and start browsing around and see what's out there. Uh, one thing I did was is I came into uh, RVs. So you see that, you know, I've look, been looking at RVs and I've been looking at boats. This is a time of year where people are trying to, you know, sell their stuff at the end of the season and you can sometimes get a better deal because you're going to be buying that boat or that RV camper uh, at the end of the season when you can't even use it until next year. Next spring when everybody's like really itching to buy one is probably not the best time because then the prices go back up. So, so you go into RVs and campers and you just start browsing around and uh, you, you know, you might look at just by owner only up here, um, click owner only, and you start looking around and looking for, you know, some good deals. Um, and there might be some out there, uh, but you, you really have to be careful because there's some people on Craigslist that are, they're just up to no good. Um, oh, here, Igloo Cooler with Holder, $20. I don't know, man, that might not be a great deal. Um, I think that you can probably buy a brand new cooler that's about 20 years younger than that one for for forty dollars but so you're looking around and uh you looking for a you know a sweet deal somewhere seventy thousand dollars probably outside your price range maybe and uh i'm not sure i'm buying anything for seventy thousand dollars off of craigslist but that, that's just me um oh here we go and so i find this oh a 2008 jayco j flight camper camping trailer um, for for uh, twenty eight hundred dollars. Now, that seems a little too good to be true. And typically on Craigslist, when it's too good to be true, it is too good to be true. It seems too good to be true. It is too good to be true. If you look down here, you've got a two thousand nine twenty eight foot trailer for seven thousand dollars. Okay, I don't think you lost that much value in a year. So let's uh, let's take a look at this guy though. Okay, so it's a Jake 2008 Jayco uh, J Flight. It looks like a G2. So I click on the picture and it brings it up full full size J Flight G2. Well, one of the things I see is this weird thing where it has like a little picture in a big frame. So let's open that image in a new tab. I'm curious to see what the actual picture looks like. 1200 by 900. So I don't know. That didn't really tell me much, but for some reason, it's it didn't like expand. It's a small picture is basically what happened. It it made a big frame, but it's still just a small picture. Um, and I'm not sure why that is. Let's go back. Let's look at this this 2009 Dutchman, right? So click at a new tab. Now he actually included two pictures. I don't know what the other pictures. Uh, maybe an inspection sticker or something. I don't know. So I click on this one and bam, it's got the full picture. So this, whoever put it, this one up actually put me a, a real good picture. Um, but on, so let's go back to our, our really sweet deal here. A t 2008 camper. It's 27 foot long because it says right here, 27 BHS, it's a 27 bunkhouse, Jayco, J Flight bunkhouse. Excellent condition, inside and out. Always stored inside when not in use. Like who stores their camper inside? Inside the like climate control. I mean, people do do that, don't get me wrong, I know that, but most people do not. You see tons of storage facilities with campers sitting outside. I mean, because campers are meant to be outside. There's not like, you have to keep them inside to keep them, uh, you know, under in climate control. Anyway, yeah, so that's kind of, it must be in excellent condition. So if it's an excellent condition, you know, why are you selling it for $2,800? This is probably like a, if it was the 2008, it's probably like a $12,000 camper. 
so you're like, well, so if this was not a legit listing, would they do it just one time? Or let, well, let's see here. Let's see if we can find a comparable one. So I'm just going to look. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a Google search. Um, if I do it right, Jayco. Let's just do Jayco, okay? Um, so let's come down through here. Now we're looking for something that looks kind of like what we were. Maybe if I put in trailer. Hmm. <sighs> One foot Jayco. Eighteen foot. What's this? White Hawk. Now, see, now this one doesn't, it's 2016 too. So it's an ad. It's like a dealer ad. So that's probably not. Um, let's try camper. Excellent condition, 29 foot camper, 2006. Where is this at Cambridge? I mean, it's hard sometimes to find it this way, but what you can do is you can just go, let's go back to where we were. So we're, let's just pick a different area, right? And we'll put in Jayco. So there's ours. And then we go down and look, and this is just locally. All these prices look well, the one dollar one, I don't know what that one dollar one is about. It's probably like make offer or something. But um, we look down through 28,000. <laughs> 20, you know, just looking for something that's comparable. Um, Thirty-five hundred. Jayco Quest. That seems kind of cheap for a 29 foot camper. That's not the one, that's not the same as the one we were just looking at though. Camper's a great show. He's ready to camp. Won't last long at 3,500 bucks. It worked 5,000 of my dealer. It's, I think he's saying it's worth 5,000 at my dealer. This one has a lot of pictures. And they look like like real, you know, pictures. I don't know about that one. Let's continue looking for a nice cheap camper that we can compare. Something in that same price range, right? Twenty eight hundred. Well, let's pick a different area here. So, mm, I don't know, Harrisburg. Harrisburg. Uh, so we're now we're looking at Fredericksburg, Craigslist. I mean, you knew you you knew that I knew where to go, right? So here, oh look, this looks very similar. Twenty eight hundred bucks. It's a Jayco J Feather twenty seven camper, but my goodness, this picture looks very similar to the one on the Harrisburg Craigslist. It's different different information, but the picture is exactly the same. <laughs> It's a J feather. It's not a J feather. It's a J flight. You can see that in the picture. Pulls well with an SUV or small truck, and it is the exact same price, twenty eight hundred dollars. So basically, you know that this is a scam. Some guy has posted this thing on multiple sites, and he's just looking to get people to respond for some reason. Look outside this area. I found. This, this is the same exact picture. This is the same exact picture. This is a different picture. $2,800. It's a J Flight series. Blah, blah, blah. 
$2,800, but it is actually a different picture, so they somehow got a different picture. Now, this is the backside picture. Nice. So, and if I click on the picture, it gives this little picture. Um, so basically, this is a scam. Uh, some guy has put it on, on Craigslist, and you will send him an email. I sent an email to the one from Harrisburg um, and asked about the camper and asked where it was so I could come take a look at it. And uh, when I send them an email, I send it to the Craigslist email that comes up here. And, uh, and of course, when I send an email to that, then it sends an email to their real email address, but it comes from and also from a Craigslist email address. So then I got an email back from them saying, hey, here's my real email address. Send me an email so that I can send you pictures and details. Well, why wouldn't you just send pictures and details at that time? They didn't because they want my real email address for some reason. They're either going to try and scam me some more or do some, you know, put me on a phishing scam list or something like that. I mean, if I if I if I'll fall for a 2008 camper for $2,800, I might be a bit of a sucker. <laughs> so, um, so maybe they can, you know, get some different money out of me for some other some other scam. So, is this like a one-time thing, or is this, you know, kind of? Uh, a common thing on Craigslist. Well, unfortunately, I believe it's a common thing. So let's go into Harrisburg. And uh, another area that I like to look in is boats, right? By deal, by owner. And you just look for some really good deals on boats. Once again, end of the season, so you might find some, some good deals where people are trying to get rid of their boat before the end of the season. They don't have to pay to store it. They don't have to pay to winterize it. And and, and take care of it they'll just sell it to you right and you'll get a, a nice deal on a boat and you'll have to pay for all that so um, look at this this boat here this is a 22 foot pontoon boat for three thousand one hundred dollars and I'm pretty sure that I can probably bring up a couple other boats just on this page alone that are um, here's a 24 foot but it's a really old one I already looked at it for four thousand bucks this one's twelve thousand. Um, this one here, twenty-two foot Regency pontoon boat for. And if I click on the picture, it's a little tiny picture. So it, basically, I think it's a little tiny picture because they have grabbed this picture off of Craigslist or some other site selling stuff and used it for their fake ad. So if I come in here and I say, "Hey, I want to look for what is it? A Regency?" So let's look for Regency boats in boats. Regency. Okay, it only give me. Oh wait, <laughs> it give me nothing locally. I don't. Know, but it gave me this other one here in some other area. So now I found. Did I bring it up? Where is it? This one. This one. Okay, so this is mine from Harrisburg. This is a 2009. Tracker Regency for another three thousand dollars. Click on it; it's a little tiny picture. So, um, yeah. Once again, too good to be true. Really, it is. Let's go. Let's go look in a different area of Craigslist. Let's go. What did we do? Fredericksburg before. I mean, I can probably pick like uh, Eastern Shore or something because that would be a good place to buy a boat, right? Nope. Let's try Fredericksburg. Now here's a 2014 22 foot Regency boat for 29,000. That's actually probably like legit. Um, Roanoke. Nope. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Um, Blacksburg. The copy. Hey, oh, wow, same boat. <laughs> Look, at, it's the same boat. One's in uh, wherever this is, and basically the same boat again. Same boat, same boat. It's just a scam, people. <laughs> so, unfortunately, you're not going to get a really sweet pontoon boat for $3,000.
or a camper or anything of, of you know, of, of good value. Those deals just are too good to be true. So, all right, well, buyer beware, I guess. Good luck with your Craigslist sales. I mean, I, I should say that, you know, I bought my boat that I own now off of Craigslist. And, and while that purchase w wasn't, uh, wasn't without some issues, um, namely that the boat wasn't exactly as the guy described it, we'll say, it, it, it wasn't a scam. He actually owned the boat and was trying to sell it. Um, and uh, I bought it from him, and I have the boat now. But, but it wasn't also, you know, at some crazy discounted price. It was about what I expected the boat to be valued at. So, just be careful.